the percentage of fat as fuel is increased when one trains fasted. Overall, in terms of loss of body fat, it doesn't matter if you train fasted or you train fed. Correct. The basic idea of what low energy is and how this affects men and women is when we are looking at a tipping point for endocrine dysfunction. For men, we're seeing that tipping point at 15 calories per kilogram of fat-free mass. For women, it's 30. So when we're looking at baseline calorie needs before you really get into that endocrine dysfunction, you can see why men do better in a fasted state or a low calorie state. But for women, our intake, especially our carbohydrate needs are so much higher because we have so many other functions that are reliant on that kisspeptin upregulation or downregulation. When we're just talking the basic calorie needs and what we're seeing, it's that dichotomy right there of 15 to 30. You could trace it all the way back where men went out to get the calories in most tribes and the women were home and it wasn't advantageous to be pregnant under low calorie intake. That's why you have dysfunction when the calories are too low.